Hey, so here is a live demo of the self-selling AI, the build your own receptionist demo. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and submit this form live so that you can get a sense of how this functions in real time. It does take one or two minutes in order to generate the demo, but the whole point of this is that you can run traffic to this, whether you're posting on socials or running ads to this landing page where it invites your leads to build their own custom AI receptionist in less than two minutes. And when we say build your own receptionist, it's literally just submitting this form with contact information, the name of the business, the name of the AI, and what website they want to use. And so I've submitted this, it should have created a contact for me, and what it's actually doing is scraping the website so that it can provide a custom demo for this lead for their specific business using their website to generate FAQs, generate a conversation flow to qualify the lead and then book them into an appointment. And so I've used a business that I actually used to work for called Farm Shelf. I like using this because it's super niche. Typically, you're not going to have a template for something like Farm Shelf, a hydroponic growing cabinet, sort of a kitchen appliance sales. But by putting in this website, it went ahead and generated a demo specifically for this person. So they don't have to come in and use your realtor demo and be wondering, well, how do I apply this to my hydroponic growing cabinet company? So it allows unique demos to be set up for specific instances. And so right now it's, uh, it is sending out intro text. And since I'm doing this on a snapshot location, A2P is not approved in this sub account. So you'll see that the texts aren't actually going to go through to the lead, but I can still run a demo here for you because of the inbound and outbound text. So just refreshing because it looked like high level was having a moment there. And yeah, so Here's how it goes. You can change this copy in your own version, but thanks for opting in to test out our conversational AI. Your demo for Farm Shelf will begin in just a few seconds and the body created will reach out to book an appointment. This is not a real appointment and is meant for demo purposes. That's to give the lead the freedom to have fun texting the bot and not worry about scheduling an appointment that they might not want. And so it starts off just asking if it's okay to ask a few questions. And so we'll respond, okay, go for it. And so, so far, these are just workflow messages that are generated once the FAQs have been generated. And you can see that those have come in down here and it's generated a whole bunch of FAQs that it's going to use as a part of this conversational flow, in addition to the prompt that we give it for this demo. So high levels moving a little slow, not quite as bad as it was yesterday, where I think there was a bit of a Google outage causing uh, issues across the internet, but uh, but my text has come back in. And so from here, now that the AI has permission to proceed, it's gonna go ahead and ask a few questions of the lead to qualify them before booking it, them into an appointment with a farm shelf expert to discuss farm shelf. So you're interested in our farming system. Can you tell me a bit more where you plan to use farm shelf? Is it for your home or your business? I want to grow herbs and leafy greens for my kitchen. And so the AI took a look at the website, took a look at the information and decided to ask some questions about how the user is going to use the product. Uh, and so it looks like it's going for, you know, testing out first if this is for home or for business use. And we'll see where it goes from here now that it has that question answered. These questions are going to vary from customer to customer, from lead to lead, because the AI generates the questions and generates the prompt. And so it's never going to be exactly the same, even if you put in the same website. That is part of the dynamic nature of using AI in this instance. But as you can see, the fact that this just immediately was created by the form submission creates a lot of that wow factor and just the magic of having an AI built immediately off of that. So farm shelf is perfect for growing herbs and leafy greens. Do you have a specific area in your kitchen where you plan to set up the farm shelf? I'm going to say not quite yet was thinking about a spot by my fridge and see where it goes from there. And so this sort of experience not only has the wow factor and surprise and delight where you 
if you've just submitted this form and all of a sudden you've built out a bot, it also helps the business owner imagine what AI can do for their business and imagine how they could potentially use this for their business. And not only that, you can communicate to them and let them know that this is just the two minute version. Imagine how good this can be if we set it up even more custom to your specific qualifying questions or to know more about your business and have some uh, objection handling FAQs built in. So it continues on here, farm shelves designed to fit in various spaces. Now, if you thought about which specific herbs you'd like to grow, I'm gonna offer 60 different varieties. I'm gonna say, I love basil for pesto sauce and was hoping to regularly have some kale. Heading towards the healthy direction. And so I'm thinking that at this point, it might have asked enough qualifying questions that it'll go into booking them into an appointment, but it also might continue to ask more qualifying questions here. And so just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off uh, rather than you guys listening to me ramble about Farm Shelf while we have this conversation, but I'll tune back in here in a second to show you the final results. And so after it confirmed the types of greens that the user was looking to grow, it segued over to setting up a call with one of our experts to uh, help you achieve your goals. And so lead said, let's do it. Ask for mornings or afternoons. Uh, said mornings are great. How, how does tomorrow look? We can schedule a call for either Friday at nine or Friday at 10, which of those worked for you. Great, let's go for 10 and it's booked in. And so that ends the demo. And at that point, whether they book an appointment or if it times out after an hour, they'll be invited to schedule an actual time to get this set up for their business. Or we have some folks, instead of sending that message and having an AI book conversationally, they just send a purchase link to a landing page to just offer the bot and business owners are actually purchasing the bot just by doing this demo. And so that gives you a sense of what the self-selling AI can do, what it can look like, and how it can help you sell your SaaS.